Just a few weeks into the open recreational cannabis marketplace and questions abound around the rollout. The Senate Judiciary Committee held a public hearing today to hear directly from the CRC, the Cannabis Regulatory Commission, on where it stands since being formed 13 months ago. In four months of existence, we drafted 261 pages of regulations. We issued 102 conditional licenses to cultivators and manufacturers. And then one year and nine days after our formation, the CRC uh, authorized the first recreational uh, legal cannabis sales in the state of New Jersey. When we look at how New Jersey compares uh, against other states, we fared pretty well. We had one of the fastest timelines to new business applications. It might have been fast, but has the CRC gotten it right so far? A major concern today was around the cost, specifically for medical patients. So just so I'm clear, so the pricing went up from 2019 to 2020. It went down from 2020 to 2021. Correct. But is it still higher than it was in 2019? No, no, it's, it's lower than, than it was in 2019. So, so many in this program are telling me that they are being priced out of the ability to access their medicine because the pricing isn't doing what you're saying it's doing. We are 100% in agreement that we need to continue to work on price and reduce price for medicinal cannabis patients. Um, that's been a priority of mine since day one. The tools at your disposal to actually reduce price based on the statutory uh, configuration that you have is just for you to add more licenses. I think that is the most effective tool. And while 102 conditional licenses have been approved, many applicants have complained the process is costly and cumbersome, driving out the minority-owned businesses the state purports to want included. How can you be reporting that you're meeting these um, particular um, diversity and uh, racial breakdown if, in fact, you're not able to com uh, obtain complete information? We do have sufficient data though to, to uh, you know confirm what uh, director McWhite said um, we know that there's uh, you know 37 uh, uh, percent of those 102 um, uh, self-certify as being uh, black or African uh, owned uh, African American owned and uh, that is you know that's what's in the application so if if we're not get you know if we're not getting a cohort who's uh, presenting that um, then you know, that's something we'll look at in our system going forward. And while many questions remain about the licensing process and who will be included in this market, this committee had bipartisan concern about regulation of the industry, especially for businesses trying to navigate it. You hear consistently that this is a problem that we have in our districts, and it's the concern about the businesses. What am I going to do? Businesses that have to implement these policies in terms of employees that may be suspected of um, you know, cannabis use during uh, the business day. What do we do until uh, the CRC catches up with the regulations? Catching up by hiring and training wires, workplace impairment recognition experts that CRC guidelines require must conduct impairment testing for employees. I would only ask you that the word expeditious come across in capital letters and you get this thing done like ASAP. A plea no doubt felt across all sectors of this new marketplace. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.